Mechanics hate German cars. Worst car to work on? Probably an Audi. BMW. Anything German. But are they really as over-engineered and hard to work on as people say? Today, we brought in real mechanics to react to German car pain from TikTok. First clip. Don't let anybody brag to you that they have a 7 Series. These cars are junk. <laughs> way down and buried, way the f down in there is the thermostat. Oh, no. It right. licks through it, travels all up the f harness. Oh, nice. Oh. And takes out the DME, the entire oh, f control module of the car. <laughs> Not only does it take that out. Yeah, OK, what else did it get caught in there? Blow up crossfire. It takes this out, too which is your integrated supply module. Why is your thermostat down there next to your wiring harness? That's an example of German engineering at its finest. I'm Steph, I'm an Audi technician. The coolant dripping off of the thermostat will for some reason follow up the stream of wires, which in this case, it's falling all the way up straight to the PCM. It will blow it because what is coolant doing in there? And then your car no go. Now you gotta either A, perform a wire overlay, which is just replacing the wires that got right. um, or you're, depending on the manufacturer, you're having to buy a whole new harness for that. That's very... Uh, pricey. Yeah, very pricey. I worked on the 7 Series, I worked on my 8 Series, and yeah. they're a pain. Like, everything's like hidden, you have to remove almost everything to get to something. So, I want you guys to close your eyes real quick. I am <laughs> going to load up a picture of what this engine looks like when you remove it. Three, two, one, open. Okay. Uh, Whoa! Those look like just coolant lines everywhere. Mav, you have a leak in a hose. <laughs> well, which so, hose? <laughs> well, we're about to figure that shit out too. This is a nightmare. I don't. I wouldn't know. That's stressing me out, and I'm not yeah. even working on it. We're I, both out. We don't kept call out us. Mav. Don't bring that. <laughs> so, would you say the Germans did us all dirty with this, or would you say it's not a big deal? Absolutely did us so dirty. The most foul they could do. This is a nightmare. That's gross. They did us gross. <laughs> Next clip. Oh, over-engineered German sh Looks like he's having some steering issues. That's wicked. Ooh. Oh, lordy, that's wicked. I want to assume that this is electronic controlled steering. I don't need no computer telling me how to steer my car. What does a computer know that you don't? Yeah, exactly. It's road. Right? Definitely an issue having to do with the steering angle sensor. It probably thinks that the steering angle is as far as it's going, and that's fucked. After you install anything to do with the steering wheel, you have to turn it all the way to the left. You'll hear a little click, turn it all the way to the right. You'll hear another little click. And that's basically the car trying to figure out what the steering angles are and what the end stops are. Sounds like my RC car. <laughs> It's exactly the same. But I wonder why the Germans decided to do that. For the fuck of it, I guess. <laughs> to charge you more money. <laughs> See, I, I gotta imagine there's some German guy who's just like, I'm gonna make it better. But you're just saying, like, there's a German guy out there just like, just put some more hoses out and it will make it so we make more money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good right there. Yeah, that's how he sounds. Exactly, that's how he sounds. I don't know how to fix it, but someone will figure it out, you know? You did us dirty. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is a German issue. I think you definitely, you did something wicked. You hit something or something hit you and... Some driver error. Mm -hmm. On to the next clip. Okay, he's warming it up. It's like a crime scene. I know, what's going on? Now he's got his wife involved. He's saying later. Oh! oh! That dude's knocked out, this, look at that this Oh was, no, he's not! This was an assassination attempt. <laughs> Boom! Dude, that's nuts. It was just a quick, clean, combustive like explosion and that's it. Oh, oh look, it started at the bottom. Do you see that? From under. Whoa. Popped all his bags, dude. It f***ed him up. Totaled this car. Cars total. It could be animals that chewed on the wires. It could be just the wilderness. He never maintained his <laughs> car. It could be that girl in the back that plotted a bomb in there. <laughs> That's for last week. That's for last week. <laughs> when you had that party and I asked you to not be so loud, that's what you get. If a car explodes, you're not going to just see it just and then, oh, we're done, it's good. This is just something else. That's a little mobster hit. No Germans had nothing to do with this right. car bomb. <laughs> Let's explode our way to the next clip. All right, E90X, 
Xbox. Oh, now they're the BMW. Xbox. Uh, my EDC is not working correctly. So you can see it is currently on. If I push it, it does not do anything. Oh, oh, oh it just fried itself. Uh oh, that's incredible. Why is that it is pink? Uh oh, not good at all. Uh oh, better turn this off. Oh, wow. Oh, smoked Ooh. it. Well, that's a new one. Anytime you see a button that you push and smoke comes out. Push it again. <laughs> quickly push it <laughs> until it stops smoking. Push it, push it Because you're basically shorting out something. It's electric damping control. Oh, so um, it's like a sport mode. Yeah, so he's trying to wild out, trying to get out of comfort going to sport, and car obviously knows better. It's not letting him. Uh, <laughs> Probably the wiring down the line somewhere yeah. is connected, so that's why it right. fried the switch. I assume the reason why it's pink is because the connector maybe was pink. It actually happens a lot. Really? On the sunroofs. You push the button and you make the sunroof go back and it fries midway. It's even on the door switches. Mm -hmm. They're notorious for frying and they smoke. I'm gonna say the Germans probably did us a little dirty on that one. He maybe dropped something in there too. You know, you're over there drinking a little coffee. Whip. This isn't just a German thing. This it's is like, human this, thing. it's a human thing. It's a switch thing. So you're okay, Germany. Next clip. Cylinder number six misfire detected. <laughs> you gotta take half of this stuff apart to access it to get it off. Another brilliant German design. The stupid cover on top of it to hold the heat in even more so the plastic retains the heat and cracks even more. Let's hope nothing bell. breaks when we take it off, but don't be surprised if a bunch of this plastic crap starts snapping off in your hand. We try some frying and praying. Oh, praying and frying. <laughs> If you finally get the spark plug ignition coil off, you'll see they have weird spark plugs. Typical BMW crap. You see, they're not regular hex heads. They got these crenulations. Mm -hmm. Now we'll tighten the new spark plug Oh, interesting, plug I in. didn't know that. No working room of cars. Just don't forget to put the air filter back on. Make sure that's all tight. Well, here goes nothing. Well, hopefully something. Ooh. Now we'll take it for a spin and see what happens. Well, that didn't that take long. The check engine light already come back on. Well, sh there's some other noise out there. I know, dude. Did you hear that? <laughs> Scotty, bro. Open up the ears, Scotty boy. Yeah, you know uh, you heard it. He heard it. He heard it. What he's saying is like when you start taking off and it's plastic, guess what happens? It cracks. It cracks. And it breaks. And then it causes another problem. And then another problem. At one point, you're like, throw this car away. If you don't have that really pretty engine cover, how do you know you truly have a BMW, right? Step one. Mm -hmm. Number two, what's going to keep the heat in there and just make things so much worse and hot when you work on them, if not the plastic cover. <laughs> that cover is really just to protect like the wires and stuff that are gonna sit on top of your engine. The more compact they are like underneath the cover, you're gonna prevent water from getting on it. You're gonna prevent maybe rodents and stuff like that. Another big point, noise dampening purposes. Maybe you like riding all crazy, making it sound like you got some really, really crazy horsepower going on underneath there. Yes. But the normal person probably doesn't want to listen to that. Mm. So they're going to keep that cover on. Loud noise from engine is scary, but in this house, cool. <laughs> I don't know why they make him so complicated, but they're doing you dirty. Me, personally, I'm gonna say it's not that big of a deal. It's just plastic, maybe, get over it, buddy. <laughs> maybe everyone's just complaining, cause it's looking like the Germans are doing pretty well right now. Put your big boy pants on. In this next clip, the driver is attempting to do a burnout, but I'm guessing it doesn't go as well for him because it's on this show. Let's take a look. Ooh, we got a Mercedes. Nice. Oh no. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't, is it? There we go. Oh, oh, nope. Uh, all these dudes are wearing suits. This must be a wedding. He's sweating right now. Uh, all pressure's on him. He's like, homies, this is sick, right? Uh, oh! That was a big flame. You you're trying can't. to rip one for the boys. And you can't. And you can't. And you're just like, I gotta get this car to do it. Everyone's watching you. Like, look, look. Dude, look, all of his oh, boys, the whole dog, right look at it, the whole mom. And they're filming it they're like he's about to shut it, it down. He just, he went from straight no problems to engine problems, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Sandro, how much in trouble is my man right here? What are we looking at? He held it so long, he could have blown turbos, he could have overheated it. He caused it, a fire. He caused a fire, whatever else. Whatever that is. Bottom. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna assume he didn't turn off his traction control. You see the white smoke? coming out of his exhaust. Something oh. bad happened with coolant. I'm gonna say he blew his head gasket just because how great and dense the white smoke is. He definitely blew something, that burnout. And his ego. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think it's the German fouls. I think it's just the actual conductor of that car. <laughs> One, you're doing a burnout at a wedding. Two, you can't do a burnout. Now you're messing up your car and you messed up the wedding. Get out of there, go home, guy. Next clip. All right, another BMW. Okay. It's We're older, three series. Yeah. Oh, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Why, what? Why, why the rear? What? It rained. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. No! What's really shitty is because it has to go towards the back of the vehicle mm -hmm. and then the tubes go out. If it's clogged, that water is going to flood the back. And luckily, Germans already thought about that. That's why they put all of your modules back there. There's always a f***ing computer <laughs> where it f***ing floods up with water. Luxury does not mean longevity. When they build those cars, where they're at, it rains a lot. So they know they're, they're going to f*** you over. Oh, you think so? Why make a f***ing little tub? And they make them sealed. Like, you can't even make a f***ing hole so it could drain out whatever moisture, water goes in there because it's sealed solid. Dude, At least dude, pick it up, you know? Full-on conspiracy theory, dude. Is whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't want my to blow up, so. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Sandra. Did the Germans do us dirty on this, or is it no. shit? <laughs> no. The Germans are the shit. Yeah, okay, all right. This you guys just, engineered this that was Not a big deal. This was just... No, this uh, is nothing. Not, this is nothing. Casual Tuesday. Yeah. That's a sarcastic, not a big deal. I'm going to say the engineers did us dirty. We've seen a lot of BMWs today, but we want to hear from you. What are the worst German cars to work on? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's see that next clip. A new Volkswagen here. A Golf. Okay. Okay, is the car still running? Mm -hmm. What the f <laughs> That was supposed to turn off! Powers off the radio. Oh, and then oh, turns the car off. It turns the car off. Whoa! It's a little short. One of the two things, they cut the piggy, the piggy connection off and they didn't uh, pin it out right or they didn't buy the actual plug that tells you red, yellow, black, and so forth and so on, right? They probably connected yellow and red together, and it's looping, keeping that car on. Once you shot the audio off, because they're on the same circuit or same loop, yeah. then it turns the car yeah. off. The aftermarket installer of the radio probably made a mistake. It's nope. your fault. Next clip. Audi boy, let me tell you, it's a love-hate relationship. This guy's a fun I guy. the way the car is, but man, the design, the design, even cursed yet. the design. <laughs> That's a gas pedal, brake pedal, clutch. And this right here, what? I bet you couldn't guess what I'm repairing. I bet you couldn't tell me. What am I repairing in this situation? The I, air filter. Right, let me nah, show you what I'm repairing. Side. Pause here and guess. Um, All right, pause here and guess. All right, so it sounds like he's got to pull this. It's one of these things, you got to pull something silly to mm. get to something very small. Sl what do you think? Slave. I don't think anything related to that. It's probably like a blown fuse or something. Maybe your uh, communication to Otis. I'm going to say a light bulb. Let me show you what I'm repairing. <laughs> mm. I'm replacing a clutch master cylinder. Oh, clutch. dude. Yeah. This little thing right here. This. This little thing I got right it. Here. I beat you. Yeah, you got it. Is. Your master cylinder, what it does, it, it transfers the pressure from your pedal to actually operate your clutch and stuff. So if you try and move your clutch without pressing your pedal, it's not going to go in gear. If it fails, now you're going to be pressing on your clutch and it's just not going to go into gear, you know? It's not going to transfer that pressure. It's easy when it's all, like, the dash is off and everything else is off to put something together. But when you're going to go in to repair it, it's harder because you have to disassemble almost sometimes half of the f***ing dash just to get to a certain piece. A little part is big, you know? Yeah, just... All that work. Yep. Think about the people that are going to work on the f***ing car. I'm going to say the Germans definitely did a sturdy on this one. <sighs> Come on, you know the answer. You just gotta be yeah. scared. Explode my tomorrow. You guys suck. <laughs> yeah. You guys suck on that one, bro. As much fun as it is to watch meticulously engineered machines fail, we actually love German cars. They are an absolute blast to drive, and they're built like tanks. Let's see what happens to this BMW after a building collapses on it. Whoa! Oh, nice. It's still driving! Yeah, and it's wow. slammed. You got the camera going Give still. Give us the finger. F you guys, it still runs. This is my sweet baby. The fact that it's driving, is that's pretty amazing. 
Looks like it just caved in the, you know, just. Just the, just the roof. <laughs> just caved in the roof. Casual. Everything else is operating pretty good. The That's question crazy. is, was it slammed before the tree landed on it or did the tree <laughs> give it that epic stance? And one thing you can never say about a German vehicle is that it doesn't look good. Yeah. It's easy to shit on uh, German engineering and German vehicles, but truly people that have German vehicles, they love them. Mm. Once you get one, you don't expect to like it as much as you do, and then one day you just wake up and you just think, huh. I'm a BMW guy. Oh no. All the faults that we've seen today, this is a positive for the Germans here, I would say. You built a really tough car. Maybe most cars wouldn't be able to survive a building collapsing on it, but this one did. Like, was that commercial? Like a rock. Like a rock. V Einstein, I was born as I could be. If you want to see real mechanics like Steph here react to even more mind-boggling engineering fails, click right here. Thank you, Steph, for coming. Thank you for having Pleasure me. Pleasure to have you. Sandro. Dude, I love you, man. Me too. Thank you for coming out. We'll see you guys later. We love you. Goodbye.